Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. Dylan, where did this partnership thing come from? No I do not understand. Why would you partner with Sabiha? He's not someone we can get along with. Baron, we will not be friends, we will just be colleagues. It is enough if we agree on the basic principle. Besides, I can't understand why you reacted so much. You surprised me down there too. Dylan, I don't react, it seems weird, I just know you don't like him. You do not allow people who do not please you into your private or business life. Baron, that's it Dylan, I know how to separate my life and people. If it were like you said, I wouldn't even be able to find people to do business with. As long as I can manage, I don't care about the personal characteristics of the people I employ in my business life, I will manage them. Dylan, but you are completely unfamiliar with the health sector. Baron, so. Dylan, so, this investment did not make sense to me. Baron, as I said, in a field I am unfamiliar with, I find the personnel who will overcome that unfamiliarity. Do not worry about it. Also, since when did you become interested in the company's business? Dylan, I'm thinking about Carabiler, is it right to partner with someone you just met? Baron, weren't you the one who protected Ms. Sabiha and kept her in dust? Or is there something I don't know about Ms. Sabiha, or was the reason for protecting her something else? Dylan, what could happen? Baron, then what's the problem? When I asked you for information about that woman, you always defended her to me. What happened now? What changed? Dylan, I didn't change anything. Okay, no problem. Baron, okay, then I'm leaving. Dylan, at this hour? Baron leaves without answering. While Baron is watching the stars in the garden, Uncle Amit comes. Uncle Amit, isn't it beautiful? Baron, like a jewel. Uncle Amit, can the jeweler who says God's miracle, this is mine, create such a masterpiece? I don't know what the problem is gnawing at you, but you seem to be looking for the answer there. Baron, it cannot be found by searching. Uncle Amit, because you are looking at the wrong place. The answers to your questions are neither in the earth nor in the sky. Baron, where is Uncle Ahmet? Uncle Ahmet, the person who made you ask that question is my son. You have to open up to him that he will eat you up. Baron, what if that person doesn't tell the truth, hides what's in his heart, denies his loved one with poisonous words, or keeps a secret? Uncle Ahmet, when you are in a big impasse, think about it, think carefully, son. If a person truly loves, why does he deny it? Why does he hide it? He is so great to protect the one he loves that he throws himself into the fire because of his love, even though he knows that he will burn for the rest of his life, he gives up his love and his love as long as he is well and safe. Baron, so you are saying that if you solve the secret, the knot will also be solved. Sabiha is very sad and looks at old albums in her daughter Galsa's room. Sabiha, I had two daughters, I lost both of them. Gulsa doesn't even have a grave, and if she does, I don't know about it. What kind of fate is this, what kind of motherhood test is this? If I had had the strength I had when they took Dylan away from me, everything would have been much different. Haven, you objected when I said it before, but Dylan, I think that the daughter you lost under your mercy, Karabi, is Dylan's. Sabiha, maybe I didn't give birth to Gulsa, but I thought of her as my own daughter. When I was a young mother, when they took Dylan away from me, she put Gulsa in his place, but they both slipped away from my hands. Maybe the problem is me, I'm not a good mother. Meanwhile, he sees the file that Dylan Baron was researching on Sabiha. Dylan, there is everything in this file, only one thing is missing. There is just no information. I know what to do. Then, while secretly leaving the mansion, he warns Ghoul to take care of him. Rose, bride, where are you going? Dylan, if something happens, handle me, okay? I will go to Sabiha's house. 
Ghoul, how so, again? Dylan, no, no, it's nothing like that. Baron prepared a file about Sabiha, there is everything about the woman, but there is no information that she has a daughter. While I was staying with Sabiha, I accidentally entered a room, I think it was her daughter Gulsa's room. I have to go look again. Ghoul, but why look and what will you do? Dylan, I'm not sure. But when I entered that room, I felt uncomfortable, there was a strange sadness. There were no photos, which is weird. Ghoul, none of these have anything to do with Baron Bay, though. Dylan, it might be important for me to know Sabiha. Rose, come, give up, come lady, that woman is dangerous, don't go. Dylan, don't worry, I will be careful. I will give this file to Sabiha and gain her trust. There is nothing very important about this anyway. Ghoul, what will happen if Mr. Baron realizes that you are gone? Baron is already out, Sabiha's mansion. It's so close to here, I'll be back by the time he gets there. Ghoul, come on, I hope so. Be careful though, you never know what that woman will do. Dylan, okay, beautiful. See you later. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.